Hello everyone! Hello and welcome back to Defender of the Crown! I am the Black Shadow and last time we were left with a uh, an interesting uh, situation here folks. Uh, Warfrick the Wild, our allies, has asked us to free uh, the Fair Lady Rosalind and says that if we are successful he will be happy to join with our kingdom folks. Which could be a good thing. Might not be to be fair. Uh, if we attempt, if we uh, succeed in a rescue attempt, folks, <sighs> I'm too much of a chivalrous knight to to say no, aren't I? This is where your long uh, your sword playability comes into uh, effect, folks. Um, this is a random event that can happen. Um, luckily, Cedric's is, isn't too bad, so we're gonna give it a go. So, we must break our way into the castle, folks, and we must do that by defeating the guards. Uh, stab him. Nope. Oh, wait. So, we must take out the guards whilst making sure to not take damage ourselves. Uh, we attack the A button. Um, I'm sure there used to be a way you could defend, like they are. Ow. Oh, back away. Ow. Hit detections are a bit interesting at times. You've got to take out these first few guards on the outside first. Ow. Nope. Nope. Shit. Not doing a very good job here. We're doing alright to start with. Now we must take out the uh, the, the, uh, the leader of the group here. The guy I'm on the stairs. And this is generally a pretty tough fight. Oh, I'm in trouble. Getting on the stairs is a good place to be. I just took a sugar's load of damage. Oh, double hit. Get in there, Cedric! No! Get him! Get it! Get him, Cedric! No! Oh, failed at the last. Blast it. Uh, it was a good effort, but it, it has not worked out, folks, unfortunately. Shit. So that means that our forces will not be uniting with, with uh, Wolfric. Although, to be fair, that's probably a good thing. I need him to keep the, uh, the Normans busy there as well as much as he can. Right then, folks, so what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to go on the attack. Um, uh, and first target uh, is going to be Norfolk and Philip residing inside. We want to knock him out of the game. So, I'm obviously uh, cautious about the fact that Lancashire is currently on normal control uh, as well. What just happened? I just didn't do a turn. Philip has attacked me, you jerk. Luckily, I've got my whole force here because I misclicked, apparently. Oh, well. Oh, no. No. Anyone else? Oh, got to remember to do that. There we are. We've defeated um, Philip. He didn't send a particularly strong force against us. And to be fair, I can work with that. That will help out Wolfric, which will in turn help out me. Meanwhile, uh-oh. Uh, Leicester's getting attacked now. We've got a small defence force, but, uh, I state the word small. How bad is it? Well, not a huge amount of soldiers, but, uh, enough. Hold your ground, guys. Let's do some more damage, and I'll pull you out. I don't expect you to win. Ow! They did some damage, I'll give him that. Uh oh, Wolfric's under attack. And he's gone. Oh my god. We got a problem. We have a uh We have a problem. Uh oh. I think I'm in trouble. I think I'm in trouble. Oh, shit. Um, I think this game is lost. I've got to go on a, on an offensive here. Knights are not useful in defensive uh, situations, folks. They can only be really useful in a battle. We have to go on an attack. So we're going to move our army. And I am still going to be looking to take out um, this guy over here. 
So we have a catapult, folks. So uh, you assemble your army and prepare for a long, arduous siege. Your forces take position surrounding the enemy castle. So before we can actually lay uh, an attack on the castle, we need to first successfully siege it. Days remaining in, in the siege, an enemy garrison of 30 folks. Right, okay then. So, what we're going to need to do is try and take out as many of the enemies we can. We've only got six days worth for, um, for the siege, folks. So, first thing we're going to need to do is we have a selection of uh, ammo here. We have Greek fire, we've got disease, and we've got boulders. First thing we're going to need to do is we need to use our boulders to break down the walls. Now, I'm going to show how this works. I also need to practice a bit because I've been a long time since I've done this. So we've got our catapult here, which we're going to use to try and take down the wall a bit. And the way we do this is if you hold down the A button, gradually you build up your power. Now that was bad, because what we're looking to do is we need to hit the top of the wall, you see. So we're going to practice this a couple times. Just going to save it there. So you see, that wasn't good enough there. What we've got to do is you've got to land and hit the top of the wall. Nearly. Oh, nearly. Come on. Oh, come on, Shadow. There we are. So you see how we've now managed to, to hit the wall itself, which is good. So, now that we've done that, we have a decision we can start making. We look to take down the wall further, or we can start trying to fire, throw some stuff in there in order to try and take out some of the garrison. We're going to go for another uh, boulder to try and take out some more of the wall. So you need to fire a little bit less powerful this time. Like that. Yes. Let's go for one more. Whoops. Come on. There we go. So we've trashed the walls. Now that we've done that, we're going to now start whittling away at the uh, at the troops inside. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and disease, throw and cause them to be diseased. Huh. In it goes. So that will take out some troops as we go along, which is good. Next, we're going to try and set fire to them. So in it goes. That wasn't particularly effective. You engage the army of Philip Melvison, and the field of combat echoes with the Saxon battle cry. So now we, we've taken out some of these troops, and now we've got to win this on the field of battle. Attack! Attack! Use those knights to your advantage, as they are exceptionally powerful in the field knights. Very powerful. See, to having a great effect there. Come on, get him, get him now. I don't want to take many more losses here. We're in a bad situation as it is. Keep attacking. Got him. He's down, which means we have claimed Philip's lands or whoever that was. Which is good. So that means there is now just two Saxon forces in the game, uh, two uh, Norman forces in the game, along with our own. So I'm messing around with the headset a bit there. We also have ourselves a second castle here in Norfolk. So that's good. Um, however, you may have noticed how over here, uh, Brian has now built a little mini castle here in Dorset to, uh, in an attempt to uh, protect his home territory. We've still got the problem of being heavily outnumbered, folks, which is a definite issue, however. So, um... Hmm. Need to work this one out. Sorry about that. I will stop messing around with that headset there. It's just, it's just really irritating there for a moment. Right, then. So, in case the game decides to misclick me again, which I hope it doesn't. So, that's still Nottingham. So, we've got a treasury of 40. So we've got to think about this now. So we we um we were attacked um here. And we obviously didn't have any defence here in Exis. That was Reginald. 
So that's where his main force is there. So I'm going to suggest how many f how many troops have we got here? Not a lot. Don't we? We don't have much, do we? Transfer. Yeah, not a lot. Right then. What are we going to do? We need more troops here, basically. Can I... Am I allowed to... Uh... Am I allowed to do this? Alright, so we do that. Let me just try to see. Is the game going to allow me to... Uh... Oops, not that. No, no, no. I want to head back here. Right, okay, so we're back here in Nottingham, which is good. <sighs> I'll make some good decisions now. The next thing I would love to do is I would like to attack here in Buckingham and take him out. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy an army. And we're going to buy... A big army. We're going to need another catapult. And I'm going to get some knights. And a couple more garrisons. Right, okay then. I'm tempted to make it 26. Let's make it 26. No, 24. That's not enough. We'll stick with the one knight. And so what we're going to be doing with this force is we're going to be moving southward with it. Being attacked here by um, Brian here. Which could be a problem. Here we go. More home defence. We've got him outnumbered. Oh, you jerk. Oh. Sometimes you just need a bit of luck with how they spawn. Nope. Well, yeah, took some losses there, but we defended Nottingham, which is the main thing. Uh, it seemed that um, Thingy here um, was content. Uh, Reginald was happy to build a, uh, a castle here in Sussex, being quite a valuable territory. So, I, want, I would love to attack, but the problem is that has just um, really devastated my soldiers. So we can't attack, we can't do a lot. So I'll tell you what I might well do. I'm thinking we might go for a raid here. I'm going to go raiding. I'm going to get me some money. And... Let's raid... Let's lay Clyde, I think. So this is just like what we did for uh, Wolfric here. Except this time, we're not doing this necessarily for the hand of a fair lady. But for money! Oh yeah! Gathering your best swordsman, you set off to hold the enemy castle, or raid it even. You arrive at twilight to conceal yourself in a nearby wood until the night falls. Just like last time, we need to take our, make our way through. However, unlike last time, I need to do better at this game. Right, he's down. We can get hold of some very good uh, amount of money here. Shit! Oh, he deflected me. Bastard defended. Nope. Ow. Come on, Cedric. Whip their asses, boy! Nope. Nope. Yeah, not a single loss. Alright then. So this is the head of um, Brian's guard here at Clyde of the Night Watch. Defending the castle vigorously. Tell you what, doing well here. Oh, shit. Shit. Come on. That's it. Hit. Back away. Hit. No. 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 Attack! Shit! Falling apart! He got tough all of a sudden. Got him. Come on. No. No! Attack! Yes, he's down! Victory is ours. Advancing into the chamber, you peer inside to learn if the darkness conceals any secrets. There, glittering in the torchlight, an incredible sight meets your eyes. An open chest filled with gold. 
The night seems filled with new promise as you begin your journey home. I I had a feeling the game was going to do that. Uh oh. Your garrison is under siege in the territory of Norfolk. The attackers are led by Reginald Front de Boeuf. We may have problems. Defend! Defend! We're not winning this one. No, not winning. Castle Norfolk falls under a long and arduous siege. The enemy swarms over the walls, sweeping all before them. Shit. Well, we managed to beef up our gold a little bit, which is good. So what we're going to do now is buy a massive, massive army. Get three knights. That's a pretty decent force, that. Which means we are going to be attacked here. There's not a lot I can really do. What I need is for that to happen. I need the Normans to start squabbling between themselves. Right then, so we need to attack, and we need to attack quickly. There's no point splitting around here. I honestly, honestly think our best bet is going to be to attack um, Buckingham. Uh, his main force, Reginald, is currently here, where we just got attacked in Cambridge. So... I have a decision. I either I attack that outright now. Or do I try and go past it? No, we don't attack that. No. Right. Let's transfer our forces. Big force. Twenty in the army. All three knights. And our catapult. It's a decent force. We're going to move the army. We're going to move south. And we're going to march into Buckingham, folks, and try and take um, Reginald out of this. Didn't bother defending it. Nottingham, of course, being attacked. So it is time for a heroic defense. Otherwise, my plan is going to completely fall apart. Here we go. Here we go. No, shit. Must defend. Tower. Must not let evil Normans win. No. Yes. Nottingham has been successfully defended. Took some attacks, but we got there, which is important. Meanwhile... Huh? Reacting to decades of tyranny, vassals of the Normans stage a revolt and seek your protection. You have a new territory. All right. That's nice. Someone's revolted against the Normans. Ooh, now that is a Brucey bonus, folks. Lancashire has revolted against um, against Brian. That is very good. Well, the hope here is that there's going to be enough squabbling here because we are going to be launching a heading attack against Reginald in Buckingham and it is going to have to win. If we win, the whole of this part of England will be ours, folks. Assuming he doesn't decide to hide into Norfolk. But can we do it? See you next time.